approach this from a, a narrative point of view. And I always want to get a story across, and there's two voices I'm working with here. This is my um, uh, subversive needlework, and there's a play on words too. Your Sleeping Beauty walks, and it's the line, and it's very political, and it's supposed to be. And I think it really speaks to what's going on today because she's holding her uteruses, and these are white men, you know, doing their thing. Um, I don't know what to say about it other than I'm very interested in craftivism and learning more about um, quilting. My mom is a quilter, but I'll be a machine quilter. I'm a knitter, but getting some arthritis, so I'm kind of shifting into uh, working with the, the machine. And then this is purely whimsical, but I have a Sleeping Beauty kind of fixation. Um, and it's just what it says. It, this actually comes from something I want to talk to you about that you should go for. There's, it's a word called ekphrastic, and this, that means you're basing your, um, your, your writing off of work. And there's a thing called the rattle, and I, I think he would probably have submissions for people's um, visual work. And you should look that up, because every month he has some visual work, and then people do writing off of it. So anyway, this is some ekphrastic, nice word, ekphrastic, I'm a teacher, ekphrastic, work about my own what Sleeping Beauty dreams. And in my, in my imagining here, and I'm still writing about this, she's dreaming about creating something, and there is no prince in here because she's going to have um, a machine shed when she wakes up. <laughs> and she's going to shred. <laughs> so literally, that's what it's about, and that's, that's what I do, I guess, with with visual work, it's, it's got a story in it. Any story you make up. <laughs> so that's all I have to say.